Hello dears, in this video we are going to get the electric field due to uniformly charged wire. So I assume that I have a wire uh, placed right on the x-axis and this is a charged with uniform charge distribution and the charge density here is called lambda, coulomb per meter and the wire has a length L and it is required to find the electric field at this point P. Okay, now remember the five-step strategy we mentioned in the previous video. First step, we have to pick very small elements. So to pick an element, we are going to assume that at distance x here, we are going to take very small lengths. After x, we are going to assume that there is very small lengths this lens is called dx, okay? And this lens is very, very small. dx tends to zero. So this very small lens of the rod or of the wire will contain some charge. This small charge is to be called dq. How can we calculate dq? We know the charge per meter. Lambda, you know, is a charge in one meter. This is a linear charge density. So if we have a lens called dx, the charge in this lens is called dq, and you can get dq by multiplying lambda by dx. Okay, now we know this charge, and we can deal with this charge as a point of charge. To get the electric field due to this small element, I'm going to draw in the electric field out of this charge. So it will pass by the point, in this direction to the left and the electric field here is due to this charge will be called DE, the electric field due to this red very very small charge. Okay, so that the equation for DE will be just like the equation of the electric field due to point charge. I'm going to write the electric field DE will be equal KE the charge, we use the source charge and calculating due, due to this element only right now, divided by the distance from this element to the point, which is x, okay? So I'm going to divide by x squared. Here is the expression for the electric field. Now let's move to step number three. Step number three, we need to make resolution. We have to resolve the electric field. Here in this question, the electric field is already horizontal component. So the electric field we have just get is the electric field in the x direction. So this step is already done. Now let's move to step number four. Uh, step number four tells us that if we have two components of the electric field, we should take care of symmetry to cancel some components, but in this question, we have only one uh, component of the electric field, and the rod right here is to the right of the point, so there is no symmetry. Uh, every element here at a different distance from the point, so we are going to move to step number five right now. Step number five, we have to put our function now only in one variable. We have to get one variable. So I have to substitute by dq. We get here, we find the expression uh, uh, to substitute by dq. So the electric field will be equal. Let's substitute by lambda dx, okay, divided by x squared. Ke is constant, you know, 9 times 10 to the power 9. Lambda is constant. We assume that this wire is uniformly charged. So we have now in this expression one variable, which is x. Okay. This variable is x. So to do integration, we are going to use limited integration. The lower limit and the upper limit should cover the total charge we have. So the total electric field, we are just uh, going to make integration here. This is Ke, Ke lambda dx 
by x square, and we have to write the limits here. So to sum up the electric field, due to every small element here, we assume that this is the first element that should be considered. And at this element, we have x equal this distance, which is a, OK? And you are going to take into consideration all these tiny elements here, 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 till the end of the chore. And at the end of the chore, you'll find that x, the variable we are summing up over, will be x equal b, the distance from this small element to the point is b. So the limits here will be from to, you, you, you can imagine that uh, you are going to start from x equal a to x equal b. And now you are going to cover all these shows, the, all the lengths of the wire. The integration of x power negative 2 dx, here's the integration we have, is x power negative 2 dx will be x to the power negative 1 divided by negative 1, which can be written as negative 1 divided by x. Okay, so this is the result of the integration, minus 1 by x, and I'm going to use it here, dx will be equal. Uh, these two constants can be taken out of the integration, and the result of integration is now minus 1 by x, and still we have to make substitution, x equal a to x equal b. This limited integration can be finalized by substituting by the upper limit, we have to substitute by b first, then substitute by a, okay? So the substitution will lead us to the following form, e x equal k e lambda, substituting by b first will give minus 1 by b minus minus 1 over a, and this is the form. But we can rearrange this a little bit that we have two negative here, negative, then negative, you have positive sign. So I am going to write the final form of the electric field. You can memorize this expression, the electric field due to wire. Uh, if we are going to find the electric field at a point along the charged wire, it is simply Ke lambda 1 over A minus 1 over B. And here is the meaning of everything. There is a wire, okay. There is a wire, charged wire, and we are calculating the electric field at this point along the wire, the total electric field. If the wire is positively charged, so the electric field is in the direction along the wire, getting out of this wire. And A is the distance to the beginning of the wire. And B is the distance from the point to the end of the wire. Lambda is the linear charge density on this wire, which is the total charge on the wire. If we have the total charge in the wire, and we have the length of the wire, okay, we can divide the total charge of the wire on the length of the wire to get lambda. If lambda is not given, okay, and this is the magnitude of the electric field. The direction of the electric field finally to the left, and we can write it simply to in the direction negative r. Okay. Okay, let's deal with this question with some numerical values. It is assumed that uh, we have a wire. And this wire of length three meter, okay, and it is negatively charged with charge negative six microcoulomb. This is the total charge on the wire, and it is required to find the electric field at this point. This point is along the wire. This is the case we have just dealt with. So the electric field will be directed toward the wire. Okay, it will be along the line and it is will be directed towards the negative charge. This expression for the electric field should be the same as we just derived together. So the electric field due to this wire, the magnitude of the electric field will be Ke lambda 
1 over a minus 1 over b, okay? Do you remember what is a and what is b here? The a is the distance from the point to the beginning of the wire. So a is one meter, okay? And b is the distance from the point to the end of the wire. So it will be four, three plus one will be four meter. Okay, we should substitute by meters here. So a will be one meter and b will be four meter. And Ke is 9 times 10 to the power 9, you know. So what is left here is, where is lambda? Lambda is not given in this question. We have the total charge and we have L, the length. So lambda will be key, the charge on the wire divided by its length. So we are going to substitute 6 times 10 to the power minus 6 because it is in microcoulomb. We have to use column here and divide by the length of the wire, which is three meter. And here you don't use signs. You calculate lambda as magnitude and the direction here to the left, the direction of the electric field to the left is already drawn. So the magnitude of the electric field should always be calculated as positive quantity. Don't take any signs while you are calculating the magnitude of the electric field. And the, the final electric field as a vector, okay, will be the magnitude you get in the negative oil direction. So best of luck. Thank you. See you. Goodbye. Thank you.